Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terra. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We are still kicking out the second half of May readings. I'm hoping to get all of them done by Saturday night, so you guys can enjoy your second half of May with a little bit of insight as to what might happen. So, yay. All right, Virgo. This will be your reading for the second half of May. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Virgo. It's not supposed to. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. It might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher, and you guys are welcome here too. Come on in and have a seat. I always love the cross watchers. Check your moon rising or Venus sign readings. If your sun sign doesn't quite resonate, sometimes they resonate a little bit better. If you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload. And if you think a friend might benefit from watching, go ahead and give it a share. Pardon my lack of energy. It's been a pretty long day. Alright. One more go around. And a shuffle. Virgo! Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Coming out of the cold. That's pretty cool. Possibly money troubles coming to an end. Right on. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, my. Okay. Okay. Virgo, this is the second time today I've been rendered speechless for a couple minutes. All right. Here we go. Let's explain what I see. Because this makes this make sense. All right. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Five of Cups. They're bummed. They're in a state of sadness. They concentrate way too much on what they've lost in life and fail to see how much they're still blessed. What you think of them? This is Tower Reversed. You think they have the power to come up out of the ashes. You really do. If they would just turn around and look at the two full cups. What you want from them is a connection. Two of cups. Well, okay. <clears throat> How they feel about you is the emperor in the reverse. A little out of control, maybe a little flighty. Hmm. Not so stand up.
what they think of you is the nine of cups reversed perhaps they think you overindulge a little bit too much have a little bit too much fun and that's on the bad end of the scale you know best case scenario um they see you as just a not a fun not, not very happy person not very emotionally fulfilled what they want from you is the lovers in reverse hmm could be a Gemini you're dealing with might be an Aries might be a Scorpio that is a broad spectrum wow we're gonna get clarity here in a minute The obstacles, the Six of Swords reversed. The return. Coming back together, crossing back over the river. What needs to be done, right, right here in the middle, but what needs to be done is the Prince of Pentacles. That's the apology card. Okay. I don't know who needs to apologize. I guess we're going to figure that one out, aren't we? Prince of Cups as the projected outcome. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, steampunk. I'm feeling steampunk. Universe, can I get a little clarity for the cards on the table for Virgo for their second half of May, please? Why is the Five of Cups here? One card, please. Why is the Five of Cups here? Empress in the reverse, Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Yeah. They spend... Okay. You feel like they spend way too much time looking back at the bad crap, concentrating on what didn't happen, what didn't flourish, what didn't grow. And they don't see the potential in the other two cups. They don't see what could be because they're trapped in what was. Okay. Fair enough. Why is the tower reversed here? Why is the tower reversed here for what Virgo thinks of the other person? of cups reversed. Okay. I'm throwing one more on it. Eight of Wands <clears throat> in the reverse. No forward movement. You think they could rebuild that tower if they wanted to, but 
but they don't have the positive energy. The, the Ten of Cups is reversed. Th you think they're hopeless. Or you think that they think every situation is hopeless. Like it's all going to be just a freaking calamity that they can't rebuild from. And they can't move forward. You think if they would just try to find the bright side, they could move things along. They're stuck. They're stuck. Why is the two of cups here? High Priestess in the Reverse. One more. One more because I do not know why she just showed up. One more. The Fool. You want the connection. You want the leap of faith. You want you you want to jump. Let's go! Do some new adventures! Jump! It'll be fun! You want spontaneity! I'm not saying you want them to ignore their intuition when you know their intuition tells them not to do something stupid, but You want him to live a little. Just just embrace the moment. Enjoy the connection for what it is. Don't think about the bad crap that's going to happen. Just go with it. It's, it'll be fun. It's what you want. All right. How do they feel about Virgo? Why is the Emperor reversed here? Five of Wands in the reverse. Three of Wands in the reverse. They feel like you're out of control. And this is what I'm sensing. This is what I'm hearing. You're out of control. You don't wait for anything. You don't wait for the right moment. You just do it. They feel like you just, you're in it. You're out of control. You need to be reined in a little bit. You don't have any kind of conflicts. You just live in the moment. One more on that. There's no internal conflict. There's no external conflict. You don't wait for anything. You're just doing it. You're out of control. Nine of Pentacles, you, you're independent. You're self-assured. You, you know what's going to be okay, so you just run. Why is the Nine of Cups reversed here? Death reverse. They don't think you're ever going to change. They might think there's a little bit of soul evolution that hasn't taken place yet. Nine of Wands in the reverse and the Magician pop out. Okay, so... Your walls are down. You're free. Maybe even a little bit reckless, but with, with this magician card, it's like you 
you always manifest positivity. So you, bad things don't happen. You want something, you, it just happens. Because you're carefree to the point of being slightly reckless in their eyes. I think they're mystified by it. I really do. Why is the lovers reversed here? That's what I don't understand. Because if I could find somebody like this, oh my god, I'd be chasing that. Seriously. But everybody knows Sagittarians are just a little bit on the reckless side. We think things through almost to the point of not doing spontaneous things, but we usually end up doing it anyway. Because you gotta live a little. Makes life fun and interesting. I wish it would stop raining though, because this is just really getting annoying. Apparently it's monsoon season here in northern Michigan, and it's just gonna rain until we all drown. I don't know. <sighs> Why is the lovers reversed here? For what the other person wants from Virgo? Eight of Cups reversed. Oh, okay, okay. I might be tracking. Can I get one more? Can I get one more? This pentacle's reversed. What? <sighs> ah, okay. 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 makes a little bit more sense now. Return. Coming out of the cold. I think this caused a lot of conflict. The whole, not everything is a calamity. Not everything is a potential disaster. You just got a little, the little bit thing really caused a conflict. And I think somebody got sad sacked. Like... I can't deal with how paranoid you are. <laughs> and there was a separation. Not necessarily because it's what what y'all wanted. It's just somebody just couldn't deal with it. And somebody truly wants the connection. And somebody else is like, you know what? I want the connection too. And I would love to come back and try this again. But you need to accept me as I am. I can't be in a situation where I'm not accepted. Just like it's not fair for you to be in a situation where you're not accepted. So I would love to return. But not if you can't take me as I am. Because my pentacle is my pentacle. And my pentacle comes with a certain degree of paranoia. That's what I'm catching out of this. For the obstacle challenge, why is the Six of Swords reversed here?
The moon card. Hmm. Truths being lifted, fog being lifted, and things being eliminated, and the return. I just saw this vision of a boat on the ocean in the moonlight just kind of coming back to shore. I don't know why. That happens to me every once in a while. I get weird visions, weird dreams. It just happens. It's the dreams that come true that kind of freak me out, but that's a whole nother video. We're not talking about that right now. That's actually a flip side video if you guys want to go find that. His swords, truth, speaking truth. The return, someone coming back with honesty. Communication. An honest exchange. That's the challenge. But somebody's got to come back to do it. Somebody left. I don't know who. Somebody obviously left this situation. I don't know if it was the paranoid one or the reckless one. I don't know. <laughs> But y'all gotta rein it back in. Right here in the middle is that Prince of Pentacles. And that is a card of apology. And I'm pretty sure I just did this spread with somebody else this morning. I can't remember who it was. Maybe y'all need to hang out. I don't know. There it is, right there. It kind of looks like it's coming from Virgo's side here. The take my pentacle and all the reckless energy that comes with it. But down here, the cross watcher, whoever, I don't know, all things can be vice versa and fluid. So I'm not 100% sure, but it's kind of feeling like I want your pentacle, but I don't want the risk that comes with your pentacle. <laughs> I think I'm going to go off over here until you rein it in a little bit. I don't know. Could be vice versa. Again, long of the sorts, somebody needs to apologize. I'm going to throw a clarifier on it, but that's the vibe I'm catching. Somebody needs to be like, you know what? This is how I am. It is what it is. I'm not changing for anybody. It's there if you want it. If that's as close to an apology as you're going to get. It's a process, especially when you're just getting to know each other. And it's a process. It really is. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Why did that pop out? Oh, okay. That's super weird advice, but okay. Um... This is super weird what needs to be done. Come forth, offer your pentacle. If the other person doesn't want it, close the door. And cut community. And now, throw another one on that. Really? Some of you, that may just have to be what happens. Just close the chapter out. I don't see why. But if y'all don't mesh well, y'all don't mesh well. I mean, it is what it is. If you don't want to go through the process, don't. Why put yourself through that? Flyer. Three of Pentacles. Okay. This might not be the Four of Wands of closing doors on each other either. Okay, now I'm tracking. This might be closing doors on irrational fears or reckless behavior. There's lots of ways to close doors. It really is.
One more. One more. Oh, you want to talk? We'll let you talk. Nine of Swords reversed. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. For whoever in this in this situation who's overthinking it, don't overthink it. Sometimes you just gotta live a little. And it is not always necessary to race down the freeway either. I mean, there's living a little without being so reckless if you guys are tracking. Okay. Why is the Prince of Cups here as the outcome? That's the other one that's kind of confusing. Hi. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Self-work. Putting work into the relationship. Two of Wands. Letting go of the past. Moving forth to the future. Oh my gosh. Okay. I like it. I'm not sure how I feel about non-committal Bob there on his white horse, but, you know. It's a cup. He's holding a cup. It's the cup of the moment. Enjoy the moment. This, for some of you, may be one of those connections that just teaches you about yourself and things that you need to transcend and change. Those connections are pretty awesome, too. You know, I've had a few of those. I didn't know that's what it was at the time, but that's awesome. For some of you, this may be a connection that's not meant to stay forever. Okay, last card on this one. Seven of Pentacles pops out. Patience. Patience with yourself, patience with the other person, patience with the connection, patience with the universe. It's going to require patience. Just hang in there. Things are looking up. The Five of Pentacles is in the reverse. Okay. What do we got for sound advice from the top and bottom of the deck? Okay. The Eight of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Don't overthink it. Don't wrap yourself in a cage of your own thoughts. Because the only one with the power to come out of that cage is you. The seed's going to do whatever you tell the seed to do. It's what you put into the seed to make it grow. Kind of energy. If you just kind of plant it in the ground and ignore it and don't do anything with it, is it going to grow? No. It's just going to sit there. Mother Nature will take its time with it and eventually rainwater or whatever, make it sprout. Could be years down the road, but if you ignore the seed, it's not going to grow. If you ignore the connection, nothing's going to happen. That's sound advice for whoever needs that. Mm. King of Wands reversed and the Five of Swords reversed. Okay. Not everything is a race. Not everything is a competition. Not everything is a confrontation. Not everything is a calamity. Unless you make it into one. The Five of Swords is the card of picking up the pieces after the battle. It's three of swords is the battle and the heartbreak. The four of swords is the rest period. The five of swords is where, okay, fighting's done. I've done my chill out. Now I'm picking up pieces. Not everything's battle. Don't turn it into one. Don't turn it into one and there won't be a mess to clean up. Forever that's resonating with.
<laughs> allow balance to restore and allow dust to settle before you do anything with this. Temperance in the tower reversed. I'm a Virgo moon and a Virgo rising, and this entire thing just started making sense to me. Wow, it's super weird when I'm doing a reading and it resonates with me. Super weird. That's only happened like three other times in the little over a year I've been doing this. Okay, Page of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, last little bit of advice. Whoever this is resonating with, this doesn't have much to do with the reading, but it's the only way that the cards make sense to me in regards to the reading. Take it slow. Don't gush too much. Hold back. Hold back a little bit. And don't be so expressive. That makes sense to anybody. Take it slow. Absorb it. It's not a race. All right, Virgo, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Thanks for taking your time to come hang out. I am available for personal readings again as of this past Monday. I am definitely available. Um, $15 for the first question, $10 for any additional question, $50 cap. So... You could come with me with seriously like five or ten questions and I'm not going to charge you more than 50 bucks. So that's just my little way of spreading blessings and giving back. And I don't charge that much. But it's first come, first serve. And I try to get them done within 24 or 48 hours. I don't always. Because, you know, I'm a mom. I work 50 plus hours a week and I have a house to manage. So... Oh my gosh, you guys are watching me do this right now. Life's crazy, but we're getting through it, right? I love you. Be blessed. Love you to bits. Catch you next time.